Example three in section 5.3, we're going to look at a table that summarizes results from a 1988 study of accident records conducted by the Florida Department of Safety, Highway Safety. And we're going to look at, it's a two-way table because we have two variables. And we have fatal versus non-fatal. So we have a non-fatal row column and a fatal column. And then we have the row totals in the last column. So those are the totals across. Um, and then we have seatbelt versus no seatbelt as my rows. And then we have the totals at the bottom. And then the bottom right is the total total. So let's find the probability the person is wearing a seatbelt. So no givens yet. We'll just do probability of a seatbelt. We'll take everyone with a seatbelt. So we go to the seatbelt row and go to the total. And then we do the total total in the bottom corner. So we get 412,878 with a seatbelt out of 577,006 total. So we'll go ahead and divide. And we get about 0.7156. So about 71% of people are wearing seatbelts. All right, so let's see how the givens change these probabilities. So let's do the probability of a fatal injury given no seatbelt. So P of fatal, a big line for given, no seatbelt. So that means we're basically saying, what's the probability of fatal if you're not wearing a seatbelt? That's what a given is, it's setting a condition. So we're gonna set no seatbelt as our total so I'm going to go to the no seatbelt row and ignore everything else. So my new total will be 164128. So basically everyone without a seatbelt is my total. I'm no longer looking at everyone. So put 164,128 in the denominator and then 1,601 of those were fatal. So fatal out of no seatbelt, right? We're ignoring the rest of the table. So givens are basically, we're only looking at this condition. All right, so let's go ahead and divide again. And it's pretty small. It's only 0 0.0098, which really means a 0.98% chance of fatal if you're not wearing a seatbelt. which feels like a really small chance, but let's compare it to if you wear a seatbelt. So what's the probability of a fatal injury given wearing a seatbelt? So same thing, P of fatal given is that big long line seatbelt. So we're gonna do the same thing. Now we only look at the seatbelt row, we ignore the rest, and then we look at fatal. So. Everyone wearing a seatbelt is 412,878. We'll put that on the bottom. And then 510 of those were fatal. So 510 fatal out of 412,878 is everyone with a seatbelt. So we're gonna do 510 divided by 412,878. And this is smaller, this is point 0.012. So only a 0.12% chance of fatal with a seatbelt. If wearing a seatbelt. So it's definitely a smaller chance. One thing we often do is we divide. So if we do 0.98, this is called a ratio. It's like shows us the ratio of the risk, how much more times risky it is. So if we do um, 0.98. divided by 0.12, so this is no seatbelt compared to seatbelt. So it's actually more than, it's like eight times riskier with no seatbelt. Because it's eight times bigger, the percent chance. So you've, you've probably heard this before, like 
with seat belts or maybe cigarettes, right? Like it's 10 times more fatal or 10 times riskier. They're finding like the risk and comparing it. So does wearing a seatbelt lower the risk? Yeah, right? It's eight times riskier without a seatbelt. So yes, wearing a seatbelt lowers your risk. So lowers your risk, right? It lowers from 0.98%, which feels like a small percent, but 0.112 is a much smaller percent. <clears throat> and that's how you find givens from a two-way table. Um, there is an option to use formulas, but I prefer not to. Um, but if you prefer formulas, the probability of B given A is the probability of A and B divided by the probability of A. So the given is always in the denominator. So let's try part C with, a, with the formula and see what we think. But I think most of us will find that the way we did in part C is faster and easier. But so we'll do probability of fatal given a seatbelt. And just so we can see how the formulas work, we'll try it. But I again think what we did was faster and more efficient. But if you want to use a formula, it's the and case on top. So fatal and seatbelt divided by the probability of the given, so the probability of seatbelt. So we're no longer doing givens in the math. The formula has changed it so we can do regular probabilities. So the and case, fatal and seatbelt, we go to the overlap, oops, the overlap of fatal and seatbelt, which is 510, and it's out of everyone because we're no longer doing givens when we change the formula. So 510 out of 577,006. And then the probability of a seatbelt goes on the bottom, which is just everyone with a seatbelt. 412,878 out of everyone. 577,006. And then algebra tells us we can cancel out the 577,006 because they have that in common. And we get 510 out of 412,878 which is what we did the first time, right? We looked only at the seatbelt row. We did 510 out of 412,878. So I think that was easier, what we did in part C. All right, notice we're getting the exact same fraction, but I think we did more work for it. So we still get 0. 0.00112. Um, I prefer not to use formulas. I think formulas are more work. And I think they're a little more confusing. But you do have the option if you want to use formulas. <clears throat>